how to make a flowchart in Canva. One way of doing that is to simply search for a proper template. So use the main search bar type in flow chart and you will see some designs. Keep in mind we don't need to do it this way because while designing a flow chart is way easier and faster to do it from scratch than to customize existing one. So if you already know all of the important elements of the flow charts I actually recommend to start a brand new blank project. To do that, click this Create Blank button. Right now, this is a whiteboard style document, means it can scale all directions. Let's head for Elements, and the group you will need is Shapes. So open this group, and then you can start dragging out shapes. So we need some kind of oval shape, that's start and end of the flowchart. Then we use rectangular shape for the process, for steps. If you got some decisions on the way, like can we answer yes or no decisions, use the diamond shape for that. Alright, in addition, if you're doing some kind of input or output, you can use this band rectangle for that if you really want. Alright, so that's those four shapes are the basic shapes that can help you to build any flowchart you need. So after you place them in, now we can set up some like base colors for them. I like to have a bit different color for each element and now you're using them to make your flowchart. So then in the first one you just type start, double tap to type inside the shape. All right, I notice how big is this shape now, so let's scale it all down a bit. And you can also increase the font size. It's 12 points by default, but we can easily make it like 24. And bold, okay, and then this is our first step. So that's when you give instructions. I will increase the size of the font to match the one I already add. Alright. And take a look. Can you see those arrows now? This will help you to generate another step. So you can click the arrow here. And hold your mouse down. This way you can make another step here. Alright, and you can do the same thing here. This will automatically add arrows for you. What if we want to connect this to our, another shape, another different shape? So we got this thing for making decisions. Let's get rid of input output shape for now. All right, and then we can drag this out, but instead of making a, this in the new area, put it on existing shape and you will end up with the arrow. And take a look, all of those arrows are what we call sticky arrows. So even though you reposition the shape later on, the arrows will try to follow the shape to maintain the same structure of the diagram. Okay, so then you got some kind of decisions that will go yes or no. Now I can just copy and paste this step tree and I will just get the shape without without any arrows popping out. Alright, so this way we can branch out, connect this to our question. We need to type in some kind of question here normally. And if you use a darker color, feel free to change the color of the font to white. So it's readable. And then we got another step here. We got another step here and everything will finally go back to some kind of oval shape. So we start with the oval or circle and we also need to end the chart like that.
and this way you can create a flowchart directly in Canva without any template. It's really easy. If you want to share it, you can use the share button or you can even download this to your machine. Click download, select PNG or PDF. This will take a moment to generate a PDF for us and then we can check it out. As you can see, here's my flowchart. I got a proper PDF that I can send to email, I can print out. This is just normal PDF outside Canva right now. And as you can see, I didn't get all of this empty paper around. The scale into my chart. So that's a really nice way of doing it. The key point is to use type of document called whiteboard. You can recognize the whiteboard by those little gray dots in the back and you can kind of infinity scale away like that. So the whiteboard is the document type that you want to use if you're designing some proper flowcharts. Remember, use the shape panel for elements, use the real shapes that can be scaled up and down without losing quality. All right, so that's how you can do a flowchart in Canva without using any premium template. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.